the French president is facing one of the biggest crises of his tenure. A nationwide indefinite strike. Rail workers, air traffic controllers, teachers, public sector staff staging walkouts and taking to the streets. They are marking their protest against the proposed changes to the pension system in France. Hundreds of thousands of French workers have come out on the streets through Paris and other cities. This is just the first day of that indefinite nationwide strike. The protesters have ended up disrupting almost all public transport services. Rail services have been disrupted across France along with the Paris metro and bus networks. According to the state rail group, about 1 in 10 trains were running on suburban and high-speed lines, while international services such as Eurostar also getting affected. Flights have also been hit by industrial action at Air France and by some uh, air traffic controllers also participating in that movement. Most teachers are on strike with health workers, firefighters and students joining the marches in large numbers. A total of 245 separate demonstrations have been announced across the country. The Eiffel Tower, meanwhile, has also been closed to the public. The strike has wiped out 90% of high-speed train services, 80% of inter-regional trains, 10 of Paris's metro lines. The strike uh, is aimed at opposing the pension reforms proposed by the French President Emmanuel Macron and could see more workers joining over the next few days. So what exactly is this proposed pension reform all about? The French president's new plan aims to reward employees on a day-to-day -day basis. The points earned every day will later be transferred into future pension benefits. The official retirement age has been raised over the last decade from 60 to 62. Those retiring before the age of 64 would receive a lower pension. For example, if someone retiring at the age of 63 would be receiving 5% less, the cost of France's current system in terms of pension spending as a percentage of the GDP is among the highest in the world. That figure stands at 14%. Whereas the UK is spending less than half of that. And those reforms have been at the center of those demonstrations. Our correspondent, Elila Kansas Motanez, has been getting us the very latest from Paris. Sent us this report. Take a look. Yes, as you were saying there, France has ground almost to a halt today uh, as 90% of trains have been cancelled and the vast majority of the Paris metro isn't running either. About one school in three has been forced to close after 78% of teachers across France have also not come into work today. And here on the streets of Paris, protesting around me, we also have firefighters, hospital workers and uh, people from a wide range of professions who are all concerned about that pension reform. As you were saying there, we don't actually know in any detail what the pension reform is. All that we know is that the French government wants to go from a current system where there are 42 different sets of rules about pensions depending on your profession to one where there would be one set of rules for everybody and a number of professions are worried that they're going to lose out on special entitlements like the ones that train drivers have for example which enables them to retire as early as 53. But for the majority of French people, even if they don't benefit from any of those special privileges themselves, they're concerned about the creation of one regime for everybody because they're worried that means watering it down to the lowest common denominator and that in the end, everybody's pensions will be lower.